Um, thank you, Right Honourable Speaker. I rise to support the motion to pay tribute to Honourable Joyce Mpanga. Because of Honourable Joyce Mpanga, I am. And I'll qualify that statement. My maternal grandfather worked for the East African Railways. And he also believed in education. And therefore, in the process of education, my mother went to Gaza High School. As a small girl, she was mentored and taken under the wing by Joyce Mpanga. And it's that mentorship did not begin late. It seems to be a character which Joyce Mpanga brought throughout her life. Um, there was a recent series of Uganda at 60 where some historians try to delve into the thoughts of those who are there at independence. And this story was given more light in that it was Joyce Mpanga who took my mother to the Kololo independence celebration. Since she was already involved in the politics, she had been a member of LegCo. And later on, under the wing of Joyce Mpanga, they went to Uganda Club where a lot of politics took place. And it is from there that a man from Lango spotted, <laughs> spotted a beautiful Uganda lady. And of course, that is the reason why I am here. But that mentorship, as everybody has spoken, it has gone throughout her life. She always reached out to those, especially the weak, the vulnerable. Because when my mother went to Gaza, she was a small girl. And her father being in the railways was all over the place. But Joyce Mpanga took her under the wing. But did not forget her. Later in life, she was there also to try and mentor and to bring her forward and introduce her into the politics. So at this series of Uganda at 60, there was a panel which involved Joyce Mpanga, my mother, and uh, Dr. Ali Kerr, of those who are talking about the pre-independence and the thoughts about independence. But then there was a panel which was also put for those who were born after the independence, where I had a great opportunity to be on the panel with David Mpanga, um, um, the son of Musazi and the son of Abu Mayanja. And we're giving our, our thoughts. And in these thoughts, we it became clear that a lot of politics has created some divisions. And I've noticed some people trying to even bring them as we pay tribute. But I can say here that I, Jimmy Akena, had the honor to host Joyce Mpanga on the day I swore in in this 11th parliament. And she sat me down and gave me a very serious talk. There were many of the, I would say my mothers from Gaza High School who gave different aspects, but she was the one who gave a most penetrating, piercing talk about the role as a leader, the role in what you should be doing in parliament, and the role when you're looking in the future, you must also look behind. And coming from Joyce Mpanga, and knowing what had transpired in the politics, I had a lot of respect for her friendship with my mother. It is a friendship which has cut through generations and time from high school, and they were constantly in touch with each other, constantly meeting with each other, constantly doing things together. And this is something which we should really look at because politically, they were on different sides. But their friendship, their belief in Uganda, and their hopes and aspirations are something which has cut through um, generations that we can all stand here and pay tribute to a great leader of Uganda. So when we talk of emulating, and also a question of mentorship, I think also the character of the mentor is very important. Not everybody can mentor. But as far as Joyce Mpanga is concerned, that one has cut through. Because my mother can testify from high school. All through her life, she has been mentoring. Trying to raise others to the level where she is. Trying to bring others up continuously. And this is a struggle which many of us have to do for the betterment of all our country. So I stand with the family on this day to send my sincere condolences on my own behalf and on behalf of my family. May the soul of Joyce Mpanga rest in eternal peace. Thank you, Honorable Katuntu.